did you retire by then? I was in my room. I never retired until I was in Thank you. I sat up. my custom to walk around to see that the house is secure, because for obvious reasons Sir Eustace is not always to be relied upon in that respect. I went into the gun room, the kitchen, the butler's pantry, the billiard room, the drawing room, and finally, the dining room, where the curtains were drawn. you understand. I do know that they cleared the room of its silver and they must have drawn themselves a bottle of port, some of which I saw them drink. The man who struck me was elderly with a beard. The other's younger, smooth face. Yes. Finally, they checked that I was securely bound and left taking the silver with me. I was the alarm, Rick. Madam had not come upstairs. Earlier she said she would follow me shortly, so at midnight I went down in case she'd fallen asleep over a book. The thing I hate to do. There are thunder for that, just as she said. And him on the floor, his blood and brains all over the room. To drive a woman out of her wits, and her gagged and bound, and her very dress spotted. Is this Mary Fraser of Adelaide? And Lady Bracken's stall of Abbey Grange has learned new ways. Question her long enough, gentlemen. When did the lady and the lady of Australia? About 18 months ago, sir. Her father sent her to give her experience of Europe. That is to find her husband. A woman must have seen a brilliant man. It's a place, sir. Constable. Nothing, sir. What do you make of it, Doctor? Sure. Please proceed, my dear fellow. No. Savage for us. A single blow? I believe, sir. It, it is a straightforward enough wound, you see. It begins thus, below the ear, and then crosses 
both spheres of the parietal bone at such an angle that this side is smashed as far as the coronal center. I've never seen anything like it. A powerful man, the Zelda Randall. Half his trade is violent, sir. He's had that his trade violent. What beats me is how Randall could do so mad at me. Knowing that the lady could describe them and that we could not fail to recognize the description. The criminal mind has its quirks of conscience and scruples. In that respect, it is as individual and curious as any other. A noted miser may be secretly charitable, so this violent Randall may draw the line at the murder of an unconscious woman. Or he may well believe that she did not see him. Well, how is that, sir? She testifies that they stared at each other. Yes, but it was she who held the light. What Randall may have seen was mostly flickering candle play. The face behind it, a distorted mask. He may have been unimaginative enough to have thought that she saw no more than he did. He knocked out unconscious at the next instance, but for his purposes, solving his problem once more. May I impose upon you to search the Turkey Road? What for him? Carnival of accidents. Captain. Now this spell presents a mystery. When it was pulled down, the bell in the kitchen must have rung lightly. Well, no one would hear it the way the kitchen is placed. How did the burglar know that? Exactly, Stones. Exactly, but the very question put itself. Now either he has known the house, or he may have dealings with one of the servants. One of my men is going over the record of service at the very with the butler at this very moment. Sir. Inspector, you seem to have thought of everything. Thank you, Sir. Holmes. There. A scattering of rats. And a bit of light scorching. Invisible. But leaving its characteristic scent. The lady would have fallen here. Brand would have snatched up the candle lovely into I suppose that is where they took their refreshment. To steady their nerves, yes. At port one, sir. And did you back and still say that the butt was corkscrew with you? No, sir. She was senseless at the moment the bottle was open. Quite so. It was opened with a pocket screw, probably contained in a knife. If you examine the top of the cork, you will observe that the screw was written in three times before the cork was extracted. This long screw would have transfixed it and drawn it with a single pull. When you catch this fellow, it is likely that you will find that he has a multiplex knife in his position. Excellent, Mr. Holmes. These three glasses do puzzle me, I must confess. Did Lady Bagginstall say that she actually saw the three men drinking? Oh, yes. She was clear about that, sir. Well, then there's an end of it. What more is to be said? Perhaps, Inspector, when a man has special powers and special knowledge like Sherlock Holmes, it rather encourages him to seek a complex explanation when a simpler one is at hand. You let us know when Randall is arrested. Juice and learned specialist calling for a case of measles. 